anyone who goes to Aspen or anyone who goes to the Hermitage feels immediately that you're in an epicenter of creativity. It is just an incredible space for collaboration as well as a real retreat to do your work. We are incredibly proud to have a long-standing partnership and collaboration with our friends at the Aspen Music Festival and School, where now for many years we've been presenting the Hermitage Prize in Composition. The Hermitage Prize happens at the high point of the festival. I mean, this festival has been happening in Aspen since the late 1940s. It brings in some of the best talent from around the country. A lot of musicians, wonderful conductors. I went to a concert today. One of the things we try to do when we're selecting the Hermitage Prize is not deciding who the greatest composer is or who the biggest talent is, but who's gonna be able to take best advantage of this opportunity at this point in their life and what they're doing and in their development. It is also the only student prize that is awarded here at the Hermitage. So one brilliant student gets to come here each year and work with some of the most extraordinary artists across music, theater, visual art, dance, literature, to develop their latest work. Interacting with so many other wonderful artists, artists in so many different disciplines, I find it just incredibly artistically fulfilling and so inspiring. That opportunity to be so focused and undistracted, it's unbelievable, not only because of the time, but because of the place. And so when we consider Aspen and that beautiful, picturesque environment, and then you think about Hermitage, cottages on the beach. When a young composer can look around and at those two various and varying settings, I mean, there's all the inspiration that one needs for, for so much music, so much creativity. You know, the very first person we chose for the Hermitage Prize uh, was Patrick Carlin. And a beautiful thing happened uh, through the Hermitage and his time there because he made connections with a visual artist and they developed some site-specific work music in an architectural space with visual uh, components. I think the thing that was really cool about that particular experience is that the other artists I interacted with were really interested in soundscape ecology and how nature and art intersect. The thing that it led to was a collaboration with artists, visual artist Ann Patterson. I love her art, she loves my music, and that was something that came out of winning this prize. My passion for environmentalism was heightened by being in nature, right by the sea. It really made me realize that that's an element of my artistry that I want to focus on more. The opportunity to uh, go somewhere and be with artists in other disciplines who are at very different uh, stages of their careers. Some people who are luminaries or very famous in, in what they're doing uh, is really inspiring just to see how uh, different people take different paths through uh, life in the arts. One of the things we're looking for in a composer is somebody who has a unique voice and try to understand who, who might benefit from a broader perspective, especially with the other artists that are at the Hermitage. It's nice to get out of the realm of the classical contemporary music sphere and really talk about creativity and what it means to be an artist with other disciplines. As much as we try and pay attention to who would benefit from the Hermitage, it's also who would the Hermitage be proud to have among its alumni. Well, Patrick Harlan is a really special person and artist. Thomas Kotcheff is just one of the most brilliant musicians you'll meet. Philip Sink, he's a, a fantastic composer and a, a really nice human being. Andrew Shu is one of many young composers who come to us who are also extraordinarily gifted performers. The highlight of his work is always his interaction as a performer. Joel Thompson has really made a name for himself over the last few years. He's one of ours and he's doing great work. Sid Richardson is uh, an incredible composer. Chelsea was just such a wonderful person to be with. And when it came time to choose the Hermitage Prize, we thought, well, it's gotta be Chelsea because she will make such a contribution to community. I think Clay has an extraordinary imagination. I'm often astonished at the things that that he creates and sound. Sophia is a really unique voice and composition whose music is extremely patient and has a very organic unfolding. She's an excellent craftsperson 
in technique. What is so singular and unique about the Hermitage Prize is that it gives the gift of time and space to champion the further development of work. It's not just a recognition of who you are and what you've done. It's actually a vote of confidence and an encouragement to go forward, to bring something new into the world, to come to the Hermitage and create. I think this residency has done a tremendous job um, because not a lot of residences do that uh, with the local community and I find that's very inspiring. I think the importance of new music and supporting new music is no different than it was 100 or 200 or 300 years ago. So when we consider someone like Beethoven, or we, when we consider someone like Bach or any of the great compositions that we know, they required support. They were new music. That was new music at one point. So this is just the continuum of, of supporting the arts and creating great art. The surest way to remain vital in our relationship to old music is in the creation of new music. New work is in, always in conversation with the past and it's creating kind of intertextual relationships with it. My work is in dialogue with, you know, the great masters that came before me, but also with other contemporary artists, such as those that I met at the Hermitage. We have the unique privilege of imagining music, not necessarily as it is, but as it could be. We have years of this. After 10 more years, we'll have a whole generation uh, of composers who are now having their own students and who are now advising and bringing people into this kind of uh, artistic community that is the Hermitage. You might find the next great composer and you might be a part of creating the next great piece of music. You know, music is at its best brings us together. And I think that our composers, given, you know, working between Colorado and Florida, will find ways of, of uniting us you know, using music as a, a galvanizing power. Look, here's all of the new music that's being created, all the art that's being brought into the world because of this prize, because of these connections that are being made. Anyone who believes in the power and importance and beauty of a vibrant cultural life in our world could do no better than to support new work. Mm -hmm.